when their task seems too big. Break it up if you can. Work the smaller tasks out. Now that sounds like a plan. We've got to put on a party. There's so much to do. So what do we need? Let's think it all through. We need decoration. And fun things to eat. Music and games. Does our list feel complete? We can always add more, but for now that's enough. We broke down our task now, each part's not so tough. When there's a big task that seems all too much, break it down just as small as you can. Then take all those pieces and write them all down. That sounds like a plan. So this is our plan. What's our first task? Decorations! That's still quite a big task. Where do we begin? Let's do the same thing again. Take a big task and break it into smaller ones. That's still quite a job. Break it down even more. Balloons and some bunting. A shiny dance floor. Something to sit on. And twinkly lights. A job is much easier when done in small bites. When there's a big task that seems all too much, break it down just as small as you can. Then take all those pieces and write them all down. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> Someone's been eating my porridge. And it's all gone. <gasps> it wasn't me. Well, I didn't eat it. Somebody did. If you tell us exactly what happened, I wonder if we can work it out. Like detectives! <laughs> oh, yes! Don't worry, little bear. We'll take the case. Oh, thank you, detectives. The scene of the crime. Let's look for clues. I wonder. Maybe there's a secret trap door in the floor. Or uh, maybe a hungry goat got in and ate it all up. Or uh... Slow down, go. A detective has to find out facts and use logic to work out what must be true, rather than just guessing. And so my first question is, are there any goats in this house? Goats? No. It's just been the three of us here all morning. Thank you, Big Bear. You've been very helpful. That means whoever ate Little Bear's porridge was one of these three suspects. <gasps> of them would do something like that. But the facts tell us that it must be one of them. You can see there was porridge in the bowl, but it was empty when we arrived. So someone must have eaten it. And if the bears were the only ones here today, you're right, it must have been one of them. But which one? Hmm, little bear. Did you eat your porridge, then forget? <laughs> I'm always doing that. I still feel hungry, so no. It's true. The first thing Little Bear did after coming in was point at the table and yell. My porridge is gone! Thank you, Big Bear. That means we can cross Little Bear off our list. Artie needs to make splats on some of the stones, but not all of them. But art is all about splatting, isn't it? Splatting's what I do. <laughs> it's not all you can do. Look what you're doing right now. <gasps> you're right. I'm arty and I can hop. My name is Hop, 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 Hooray! I'm here to help you hop today. A hop is a short leap forward. A splat is the same, but leaving a mark. I wonder... Toad, I think Hop and Splat can help Artie make this pattern. Really? That is good news. So how do we make this pattern? Let's see. Hop moves you forward without splatting. What if we tried putting a hop before a splat? Ooh, I like your thinking. Let's give it a go. Ready? Ready? Uh -huh. Go! Hop. And that's a lovely splat. I did it. I really did it. Oh. 
but it's not quite right. It's almost there, Artie. You've made a really good start. Hmm. I'm sure I can do this all in one go. Let's start over. Hmm. What exactly is this pattern? How does it go? Oh, I see it! It goes space, splat, space, splat, space, and it can keep going! Splat, space, splat, space! Stop! <laughs> I think we get the idea. <laughs> Let's try everyone's ideas. Good thinking, but one at a time, please, <laughs> so we can see what works. Socks are the best, but I think I do need boots too. Then let's try them together. Are you sure you don't need me? Huh, good point. Uh, go. Ready? Ready. Ready. Oh, let's see what happens. It might be okay. Ready. Go. Put on socks. Put on boots. Stop. <laughs> Puddles, here I come. Oh, I'm all wet. My feet stay dry, but my head got wet. <clears throat> Umbrellas keep your head dry? Exactly. It should be umbrella first, then socks and boots. Don't forget, umbrellas should be opened outside. Good point. Is everyone ready? Ready. Yep. Go! Open umbrella! Put on socks! Whoa. <laughs> Stop! This isn't working! I don't think I can put my socks on holding an umbrella. Not before it stops raining and all the puddles dry up. It's okay, Go. We haven't got it right yet, but we are learning things. Oh, I learned that you need socks and boots to keep your feet warm and dry. <laughs> I learned you should open your umbrella after everything else. <laughs> hey, that might work. Socks, boots and then umbrella. Beans? Oh, let's plant one. Yes. I, I wonder, wonder if they're, they're all, all the same. Different. Let's try them and see what happens. Hello, Bean. What can you do? We're grow leaf. Grow stem. Grow flower. Try, try us out, out to find our power. power. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Did you give us these beans? Magic beans, yes. Plant them and see what we can do. Magic beans. Stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try you. Ready? Ready. Go. Grow stem. Stop. Oh, it's a bit strange. That's what's so amazing about it. Let's try using the other grow blocks. <laughs> Next bean. Go. Grow the. Stop. Go. Grow flower. Stop. I love these plants. <laughs> They're funny. Yes, but this one looks the most like a proper flower. What do you mean, a proper flower? Well, more like flowers usually are. Like those ones. Hmm, I suppose. This one's a bit small, though. Oh, maybe we can grow a taller one. <laughs> Why don't we try two grow blocks? Hup. Go! Grow stem. Grow flower. Stop! Oh, yes! That looks good. So, stem flower is the right way to do it. Does there have to be a right way? Well, this one does look the most like a flower, doesn't it? Yes, but I want to keep trying different things out to see what will happen. Like, what happens if we swap you two around? Ooh. Um... Go! Grow flower. Grow stem. Stop! This one looks upside down. And, <laughs> as long as you're careful, sometimes it can be fun to be upside down. Oh, I see. That's the whole woodland wiggle in little parts. The question is, 
Are you ready to try and put them all together? I'm not sure I'll remember the right order. Oh, I know what might help. Cow, to do the woodland wiggle, what do you do? Uh, I wiggle, uh, spin and clap. We're clap, wiggle and spin. We're here to help you do your thing. Nice to meet you all. Cow, can you show our new friends where to go, please? Of course. You first, please, Wiggle. <laughs> then spin. You go next. Uh, and last of all is clap. Oh, I can see it clearly now. The woodland Wiggle. Wiggle, spin, clap, then back to Wiggle. Yes, that's it. So let's go. Music, play. Is everyone ready? Ready? Go! <laughs> Wiggle! Spin! Clap! Stop! Yay! <laughs> Let's go again! Ready? <gasps> Wait, let's see what happens. You're doing the woodland wiggle all by yourself. I am. I am. I did it. I know what to do. Breaking the big dance into little moves really helped. Oh, can we do the woodland wiggle too? Let's all join in. Everybody, wiggle. Spin. And that. <laughs> Make it happen with the Wonder Blocks!